Decision 2012 is going to be interesting on so many levels, from the race to the White House right on down to state house races. One of the more controversial will be in the 76th district that covers part of Grand Rapids. And Democrats will roll out their write-in candidate tomorrow morning. Winnie Brinks will try to be, uh, you know, will be running to try and take on Democrat turned Republican Roy Schmidt in the fall. 24-hour News 8 political reporter Rick Alvin is here now with what this means for the race and for the whole process, Rick. Yeah, and this could mean a whole lot more. We don't know, and we'll tell you more about that in a minute. But as a technical matter, Ms. Brinks will file the proper paperwork and qualify as a write-in candidate. That's not too difficult to do. Assuming no one else does the same, she'll run unopposed. But that doesn't mean that she will automatically transfer to the November ballot. A qualified write-in running unopposed still has to garner 5% of the highest vote total for a candidate in the primary for the district they hope to represent. In other words, if the, if the case is Senator Debbie Stabenow, for example, she's running unopposed and at the top of the ticket and could be one of the single biggest vote getters, Brink would have to get 5% of what Stabenow gets within the 76th district. Doing some preliminary figuring, that could be from a few hundred votes to around 1,000 votes in this case. More more this all came about when Democrat and uh, sitting House member Roy Smith switched parties just before the filing deadline. Another person, Matt Mozak, filed as a Democrat, but almost instantly there were questions about a connection between the two events. Democrat. Something Smith has denied. When we tried repeatedly to talk to Mozak, he declined. He withdrew from the race. That led to a state police investigation, and they're still looking into it. We've talked with officials familiar with the case, including the Kent County prosecutor, who says he does not know how much longer the investigation will continue. What we do know is we'll continue to follow the story that still has many unanswered questions and potential implications.